Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan, and today I'm going to tell you this game's through time and bandwidth. Today's game is Hot Wheels Unleashed. No, this isn't the Forza Horizon 3 or 5 DLC. This is a whole different Hot Wheels racing experience. Do these little cars pack big fun? Hot Wheels Unleashed is available on PC, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation, and is currently available via Xbox Game Pass. And that's the game of the year edition, which usually is $90, while the base game is still at $50, and you've got dozens of hours of fun in this game across both single player and multiplayer. So what exactly is Hot Wheels Unleashed? Well, it's a racing game where you play as big surprise. Hot Wheels cars across a multitude of crazy tracks with an emphasis on arcadey racing, boosts, and collecting. This game has a whole bunch of modes, the first being single player, which has you traversing a large floor rug map, which is cute, and participating in races, time trials, and boss races. It's nothing exceptional, but it's certainly serviceable. The next mode is multiplayer, which is by far the best way to play, as you'll hop online and race against a bunch of humans across not only the pre-built tracks, but also high-ranking custom tracks as well. This earns not only the most coins, but definitely provides the most balanced challenge. Speaking of custom tracks, the game has a very thorough track editor, which you can unlock parts for by playing through the single player game or buying DLC, which you can then upload to the server and share with others. It's worth knowing that you can't play against AI on any custom tracks. It simply goes to time trial. I guess the AI just couldn't figure it out, but you can play them in multiplayer. And the last thing is unlocking more of those cute little toy cars, which is done via either blind box or through a rotating store using the coins you earn from racing. Blind boxes cannot be bought with real money for the record, and dupes can be destroyed for either coins or parts. Parts are used to upgrade the cars you have, making it so almost every car is viable and fully upgraded, giving you a lot of choice on which vehicle you should use. But the vehicle you should use is definitely the turtle wagon as they all yell cowabunga whenever you nitro. Just saying. The racing itself is arcadey and chaotic, where you'll mostly be driving on extra wide versions of the classic orange Hot Wheels track pieces, complete with the little connector bits, which is kind of cute. Expect to do loop de loops, have gravity switch around, go off the tracks onto the basement floor more often than not, and encounter a ton of stage hazards like fans, sticky webs, bombs, and more. Your main method of getting ahead, besides just good driving, is via boost, which is earned by doing tricks such as jumps, high speeds, or drifts. There's two types of boost based on the car you've chosen. Either you bank individual boosts that go for a set amount of time, or a single boost meter that can be activated more precisely to fire and disengage. And honestly, that's the gist of Hot Wheels Unleashed. It's a fairly simple arcadey racing game, where the main gimmick is that you're very small, and there's also a massive number of classic Hot Wheels cars to unlock and upgrade, and even more in the Game of the Year edition. And what did I like about Hot Wheels Unleashed? Well, the racing is overall very decent, with tons of tracks, cars, pretty good feeling, drifting, and turning, all in the very arcadey style of racing. Additionally, the multiplayer is the highlight here. It's a ton of fun, especially since it incorporates custom tracks into the mix, and those can lead to some absolutely ludicrous races. And lastly, I'm nostalgic for these stupid little cars and collecting them, complete with brands from 80s and 90s shows that I'm familiar with, certainly triggered some sort of dopamine receptor in my brain. The whole concept is pretty cute. When it comes to the bad, lots of tracks have very bad signposting, especially when you're off the rails portion and it's just a bunch of randomly placed cones that are supposed to direct you to where you go next. I have fallen off the course multiple times in this situation, and while looking at the minimap does salvage it, who wants to look at a minimap while they're racing? But you see, the single player overall is pretty bland. It's really just races, time trials, and one-on-one -on -one bosses, and the DLC doesn't really mix up that formula at all. And lastly, I found the physics to be super wonky, leading to a bunch of unfair feeling turns, flips, and other jank, but that can lead to situations where, like, the gravity flips and you just end up upside down, and you're just screwed. There's arcadey feeling racing, and then there's just sloppy feeling racing. As you know, I reckon on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. I think Hot Wheels Unleashed is a maybe consider. It definitely is better than any Hot Wheels game has any right to be, with a whole host of tracks, tons of cars, and surprisingly good track builder, while the racing itself isn't anything exceptional, and some of the tracks and the physics are more frustrating than fun. If you are looking for a fairly basic racing game with plenty of Hot Wheels nostalgia, it's still worth checking out on sale or on Game Pass. And that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played Hot Wheels Unleashed, did you have Hot Wheels growing up? Please let me know in the comments. Or regardless, go out there and maybe give this one a look.